M0 FXB, welcome to my channel. So if you've got the new GD88, now I use the Kydera um, 880UV, which you can see, but it's, it's virtually the same radio, and you're having problems installing the on your Windows 11, this is how you do it. So right click and click Device Manager. Right, so we're running the, the, late, the CPS that Radiodity have provided us. I'll show you how to get that. Just go like so. Go to radiodity.com. You'll see this page come up. It's a bit laggy on my computer. But anyway, it'll come up and then click support. And then when it shows this, go to Radiodity here. And you'll get the different radios. And there's the GD88 on the right. And look, programming software. At the moment, you haven't got the firmware, but you've got the programming software. Click that. And everything's in here that you need. And in here, you've got your CPS, your USB driver. It's all there for you. So you might as well run the driver for your computer for Windows 11. Run that. Double click. Run the bottom one. Set up XE here at the bottom. Run it. I've already run it. So run that. Now, when you go to, when you connect the radio, you plug the lead in, uh, right click here and go device manager. If it says to you, double click here where it says ports, see here, ports just here, double click ports. Now I've got mine showing up, prolific USB to serial COM port. That's what you want to see. If it says, um, sorry, Windows 11 doesn't support it, what you need to do is right click it and go to, I would firstly go to properties and I'd go to driver and I would click uninstall device like so now I'm not going to do it now but before you do it tick this box here attempt to remove the driver for this device so tick it here and click uninstall okay when it once you've done that you you can go back to the programming software and if you want run it again run the USB driver again reboot your computer and then that time when it reboots you go to device manager you plug in the lead plug in the radio when you double click, you're going to get this prolific USB to serial, which is what you need to get. So now we go back to our code plug. So go like so. Now it should find it automatically here at the top. If you want, just click COM here. COM. Okay. Once you've clicked COM, there's a drop down. But you want three, the same as in, in that. And now you'll be able to read and write to your radio. And that's it. That's all you need to do. And your USB driver will work with your cable and GD88 radio. 73, thanks for watching. All the best.